Hi, it's Lisa O'Neill here. This week I've spent a lot of time thinking about value, about how we are valuable. So four times every year, we hold an immersion at Thought Leaders Business School, and this week is Immersion Week. It's a really exciting time when our whole community come together to immerse themselves in inspiration, connection, and learning new layers of the curriculum. It's an exciting time where I absolutely love spending time with our magical community. So the theme of this immersion is value. We're weaving together what we value, the value we create, and the value that we deliver to the world. So solving problems and creating solutions is valuable work. And understanding your value is an incredibly important part of learning to be commercially smart. As thought leaders, it's our job to think, to sell and deliver. These are three big jobs and each of them requires time, they require effort and they require energy. Now the ultimate skill is to be able to do all these together at the same time. But we won't worry about that today. My definition of a thought leader is someone who is leading the thinking in an area of expertise, someone who adds value to a specific field, someone who deeply understands the marketplace in which they operate. As a thought leader, you're a contributor. You have ideas, you have unique points of view, and you offer insights on particular topics. We are sources of inspiration and innovation. It's big work. And the thinking alone could be a full-time job, except that is not very commercial because the way we measure your impact is in the amount of selling and delivery that you are doing. But not today. Today, I just want to focus on how you create value in thinking alone. To be an expert, to be robust in your thinking, you need to consume, capture and contribute. So consuming is about taking in knowledge and information. We need to be absorbent, teachable, open and experiential. To be constantly learning, listening and experiencing new ways of thinking. A healthy diet of inspiration is essential for us to develop our expertise. Surrounding yourself with clever people who question and stretch your ideas is a wonderful way to build your brain. I'm constantly inspired by the company I keep at Thought Leaders Business School, the amount of insights I get, the conversations, the questions that I get from fellow students is extraordinary. So the second energy is capture. How do you record your thinking? We use the curriculum to help us stretch, explore and deepen our thoughts to make our intellectual property relevant, thorough and ultimately elegant, to create a system where your thoughts and ideas are accessible and easily retrievable. Before I joined business school, I had endless notebooks and paper and scribblings that were spontaneously captured, but never developed into anything that I could actually use. I was working hard instead of working smart. I was constantly redesigning and creating presentations from scratch every single time. Not smart not commercial. The process of pink sheeting made me commercially smart. I no longer waste time having to look for my ideas. And lastly, we get to contribute. So to contribute to the thinking in an area of expertise, that is the job of a thought leader. To con- the word contribute comes from a Latin word, contribuer, which means to bring together, to add, unite or collect. Creating movements around your ideas is the ultimate goal and a wonderful way for you to add value to the world. Thought leaders transfer knowledge by creating solutions that people need and people want. There's little point in developing thinking if it's a secret. Using your thoughts and ideas to spark change in people and organisations is how we bring value to the world. Regular blogs, podcasts, interviews, videos, these all give the world the chance to experience you. The world needs you. You need to consume, to capture and to contribute your thinking to the world. On the other side of that, people will be able to see the value that you provide. 